We got more Ronnie Radke drama. Still will fall the weight. I enjoy Falling Under Versus music. They are not one of my favorite bands. I enjoy their music. I like a lot of aspects of their music. I don't like every song by them. I really only like the Drug and Me Is You album. And their latest stuff has been pretty cool and entertaining and overall pretty enjoyable to listen to as well. Ronnie has been a part of a lot of drama in recent years, especially very recently. Um, I am someone who doesn't really like drama. This is why I've actually never made a video like this. Um, I just tend to stay away from drama. It's, it's just exhausting to me. It's, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't lead anywhere. There's never any resolve, whether it's in your real life with family or friends or if it's on the internet talking about stupid shit like this. But something happened recently and I wanted to give my opinion on it and talk about it instead of just leaving a comment somewhere. I wanted to make a full video on this. Can I just giving my opinion. So basically the other day, Ronnie dropped a video on TikTok. He recently got banned on TikTok, but then he has a new account and I guess he's unbanned from TikTok. Um, good for him. He dropped a video the other day and I watched about maybe 15, 20 seconds of it. And I was like, whoa, what is going on here? So I didn't finish this video because whenever I was watching like the first 15 seconds, I was like, I want to make a video on this because this is just this is a lot to unpack and I want to discuss it with you guys. So I have not watched this video, so it's kind of going to be like a little bit of a reaction inside this little this video. Um, we're going to watch this full video. It's actually four minutes long, so I'm probably going to chop up this video a little bit. Calling out most of this in white saying they ripped off Pop the Monster with the werewolf. Well, you ripped off Bullet from my Valentine Wake of the Demon. That immediately is such a like clusterfuck for me. Cause like I said, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys don't know certain things about me, my favorite band of all time is Bullet from our Valentine. And my second favorite band of all time is Motionless and White. So you guys are probably thinking this is gonna be a, such a biased video and I'm just gonna be hating on Ronnie. It's not gonna be like that. I'm gonna try and give my unbiased opinion on this whole drama. Yeah, so this comment that Ronnie is replying to, calling out Motionless and White saying they ripped off popular monster with the werewolf while you ripped off Bullet with the Waking the Demon. If we're gonna get technical with this, it, I'd say Ronnie Radke's werewolf in Popular Monster is not at all the same style as the werewolf in Waking the Demon by Bullet from Valentine. Granted, Waking the Demon is a lot older song. It is a the production on that video is a lot less than anything Ronnie Radke has ever made. I'm not the first to do cyberpunk, but in my scene, I was doing the cyberpunk thing. You know, this is petty stuff, man. It, it really doesn't matter. It's just a little annoying. So here's me. On a screen, little cyberpunky. Oh, here's Chris motionless. Very cyberpunky. Okay, I kind of I see the resemblance there. I, I I can see that definitely. I like how he mentioned that this was petty and it didn't really matter. And I I, I respect that comment, but also, why are you making this video and making such a big deal out of it if it's not? that big of a deal. I'm not throwing shots. I'm not throwing shots. I'm, I don't want any hate comments. Please, guys, if you guys are going to leave a comment on this and you guys want to actually have a mature discussion about this in the comments, I will reply to all your guys' comments as long as they are fair and unbiased. I, I am going to be try to be very unbiased because like I've said in past videos and stuff, I'm not really a huge fan of Ronnie. I really am not. I do not love him as a person, but I want to make this video from a completely open mind. Oh, laser beams. Here's me with laser gloves, laser beams, cyberpunk. Oh my gosh, is that Chris Motionless in my music video? No, it's him in his own music video after. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. I mean, I can definitely see how the coloring is very similar, which I guess that's his point. Um, I mean, blue and red lights, that's what we're going with here. Something about Motionless and White, like, these boys are huge gamers. Like, they play video games while they're on tour in their tour bus. They love video games. They love Halo. They played Cyberpunk. And Cyberpunk, like, really influenced this latest album, Scoring the End of the World, and the Cyberhex music video. Um, That was a whole thing. Like, in every interview, they talked about how Cyberpunk was a huge influence on this video. I, I see where he's coming from. I really do. Now, I'm not the first person to do do anything. It's just the timing of things, man. It's like, oh, well, th they're doing this, so uh, we're going to do this because it's it's cool right now, you know? And people get inspired all the time, and I understand that. But but I hate when people act like that's not where they got it from. That's completely respe respectable. My thing about Ronnie Radke is I genuinely do dislike him, but it makes it hard to dislike him sometimes because he says actually 
like intelligent and fair things. Like sometimes like he'll be making a video and I'll watch it and the whole time I'm like, ah, oh, God damn it, I hate you. And then I'll say like something very intellectual and just a very good point and something very mature and smart. And I'm like, damn, it's it's kind of hard to hate when you say something, something smart and something that actually has meaning. So like, I like what he's saying about how people and bands get inspired all the time and that is completely fine. But he's saying, it's really annoying when they just act like that, that's not happening, when they act like they're not getting inspired by him. I was the only one doing the movie, movie style ad mats for like um, tours and stuff like that. So here's another example. Oh, look, Fall in Reverse, episode four tour. You know, rated R, you got the radar, it looks like a movie ad mat. I was obsessed with doing it. That's why I did movie trailers and stuff like that for my tours because I wanted to cross the, the action packed movie stuff over with it. So here's mine. Oh man, what do you know? Motionless and white, cyber hex, rated R. Ah, oh, movie movie ad mat. Hmm, wonder where they got that from. Not me, right? Michael Jackson. Oh, here here's another tour tour ad mat that looks like a movie trailer. Live from the unknown. Obviously, the popular monster werewolf. Hmm. Oh, is that motionless white with the same exact font and a werewolf? Okay, yeah. Hmm. I wonder where they they got that from. Can't be me, right? That's that's really hard to see and not think like like I I completely see where he's coming from like those are definitely looks like they're inspired by his work I think that they could possibly just be made by the same person or team I don't know if Ronnie has taken that into account um, I know Falling in Reverse is on uh, Epitaph Records I actually forget who Motionless and White they're on Fearless Records still I believe. I don't know if Motionless is still on Fearless Records. I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty certain they are not on the same record label. Um, so I don't know how like out there it would be to say that what if the posters were just made by the same art designer or art team, marketing team, whatever. Um, maybe maybe Ronnie hasn't just thought about that. The thing is, like people are kind of taking this as in Ronnie is taking shots at the band. I think it's more so like the the team that Motionless is behind. Because, like, you guys got to know these bigger bands like Motionless and White, they aren't just these five guys doing all these things. They have marketing teams. They have people that make decisions. So, I don't know. That That's that's something to take into account, I think. A director that I went to to make all my, my music videos, um, you know, they, they decided to start going to them because they were inspired. You know, they thought the videos that I was doing was great. And that's... That's what I was told by the people that worked on the okay. video. And I was also told that um, they told my director that they already turned me into a werewolf and it would be weird if they turned him into a werewolf. It's the same director and they said they don't care. So that's the reason why I think that they copied me. Okay. So he's saying the director that directed Popular Monster, Motions and White came to that director and said that they liked what he did on Ronnie's videos. Um, and then even the director told them like, Hey, I've already done the werewolf thing with Ronnie. It'd be kind of weird. And they said they don't care. And once again, I don't know if that's the director talking to motionless and white's team or talking to like Chris motionless or like the whole band or something. Little things can change your entire um, story like that. If you're a fan of Motionless White, you're going to come to their defense and you're going to pretend like you don't see any similarities. And I understand that, dude. I get that. People defend me all the time and uh, ignore the fact that I say insane stuff sometimes that, that I shouldn't say. You know what I mean? I get it. That people defend each other. They defend their bands even if they're in the wrong. Like that. That is such a fair and mature thing to say. Like, I completely respect that. Some of the things he says I have complete respect for and it's really hard to just hate on him when he says these things and i got nothing against these guys i don't i really don't you guys think that i spend every waking day uh hating on these people man I, I, my band is killing it they're doing pretty good you know it's uh it has it's nothing against them it's just really annoying it might not even be them it could be their record label you know what i mean but they have to know something you know what i mean it's just it is what it is man i just can't respect that stuff dude i respect bands like bring the horizon that they do their own thing and they don't try to copy anybody they're they're inspired by certain aspects of other people's stuff but they don't straight rip people off i respect people like ice nine kills that do their own thing 
and they and they support each other they support other bands that are doing good things and you know and they reach out and they tell you how good you're doing you know i respect that kind of stuff i don't respect blatant plagiarism and and the people that copy bands that are doing current things and then pretend like they got it from somewhere else i can't respect that sorry love you guys sorry i got something on my shirt from wiping my mouth because i'm a dirty piece of I mean, that's completely fair, saying he respects bands like Bring Me The Horizon and Ice Nine Kills for doing their own thing and being unique and taking inspiration but not ripping people and bands off. And he's just saying that Motion and White is allowed to be influenced by him, but he shouldn't, they, you know, it sucks that they're just blatantly ripping off him. You know, honestly, it, it's, it is very fair. Like, Ronnie is an artist. He is a talented artist at the end of the day. Love him or hate him. He is a skilled and talented person. And he obviously puts a lot of passion and work into his work. And I, it would probably suck if you worked on something really hard and put a lot of money and time and effort into it and then just had bands and artists just leech off of it. So I can definitely get behind that. But he did say something about not hating these guys and we think he just wakes up and hates these dudes every day and has nothing against them. Um, that's kind of hard to hear knowing that they've had drama recently before this. I don't know all of the details behind this, but you guys do know maybe almost a year ago, possibly. All I know about it is Motion and White did their um, Trinity of Terror tours and they were supposed to take the band Crown the Empire on their tour, but I believe the band had COVID or something and Motion and White kicked them off the tour. I remember all that was going on and Ronnie Radke was tweeting about it on Twitter and saying shit about Chris Motionless and stuff like that and saying how they're a he's a piece of shit and the band sucks and all that. And then he went and put Crown the Empire on Falling in Reverse's tour. I remember him saying something about how Motionless and White and Chris Motionless were stopping Crown the Empire from making money on this massive tour and they're trying to stop them from feeding their families and stuff. And I thought all oh, that was just insane like that was a drama that i was just not behind like this this one here talking about like motionless and white ripping that him off um i i can respect his opinions on that and i can definitely hear where he's coming from but that whole thing before um i thought that was just dumb i understand you get copied when you're doing good and stuff but like i've always dude I, i'm not like the most original human being on planet earth i mean i've gotten inspired and i you can hear what inspires me in my music and stuff kind of so if you think oh that's kind of sounds like queen or that sounds like eminem or that sounds like you know i don't know fucking I'm trying to think of something else i don't know you know i don't like listen to something you know like something new that just comes out and copy it that's fucking so annoying dude listen to something old and get inspired by that don't don't copy something that that's like fresh that's coming out right now. That's so fucking annoying, man. It means you don't have any creativity. You're riding the coattails of something that's successful right now. There's a difference between being inspired and being just straight up copycat. And that's why I don't respect people that just rip people off. You go to my producers, you go to my directors, you look like me, you even name your, you even like use the, my, the name of my tours and like live from the unknown. You just use everything and you look like, you dress like me. It's just, it's annoying. I get it, man. I'm not the first person to get blackout tattoos, dude. I know there's like Davey Havoc has this and Kat Von D and and I get I believe Ollie Sykes has a fucking one sleeve like this. I understand. It's different. You know what I mean? It's it's when you like literally blatantly rip somebody off, you know? It's different. You got these blackout tattoos, you know? I'm like, okay, well, Davey Havoc and Kat Von D got this. How can I do mine different? Uh, and Ollie Sykes, right? So I get my neck blasted and I get the my whole chest something else. And I have intention of doing it. It's not more it's more it's not like when you like hire somebody because never mind. I'm gonna drop it. I'm dropping it. I'm not gonna sue anybody. No, I'm not suing. That's ridiculous. Imagine suing somebody for copying you. This is actually a very long time ago. So this has been sitting on Ronnie's chest for a while, I feel like. Um, this video came out nine months ago, and he only recently, last week, made this whole TikTok video. So this has been almost a year that he's been, you know, bothered by this. Um, I like what he's saying. If, you know, like I've said multiple times, love him or hate him, I, Ronnie doesn't like fakeness. I feel like people 
act like Ronnie is a fake person. At the end of the day, Ronnie is one of the most real people. That might that makes him a lot less likable, honestly, because he says what he wants to say, says what he means, and I respect that. I mean, he says some outlandish things and some things I just blatantly disagree with, but sometimes it's, you got to respect the, the way he goes about thinking about things. He is obviously a very intelligent person. Um, I just realized we have the same headset. Me and Ronnie have the same headset. Great. Now I'm copying Ronnie. He's going to make a fucking video on me because I have the same headset that I've had for six years. All right, well, that's about all the footage I really have to work with right now. Um, yeah, I've, I kind of already gave my thoughts and opinions on this. I would love for you guys to discuss in the comments down below kind of what you guys think about this, what you think of Ronnie Radke falling in reverse, motionless and white, just this whole drama. It's really not a huge thing, but I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, <coughs> Ronnie's fucking hexing me for making this video. <coughs> At the end of the day, I think if I was Ronnie with the following, the massive following I have and the influence I have on people, I would not make these little videos. I don't know. It just stirs up drama. And I think at the end of the day, Ronnie just likes drama. I think he loves the attention he gets from it. I think he loves being hated by people. I think he loves arguing. I think he lives for that shit. And that is the main reason I have always disliked him. Now, granted, like I said, there are things about Ronnie's personality and the things he says that I like. But overall, I just, I, did, I don't like that. Who gives a fuck what I like, though, you know? I think with the status he has in the metal genre or just music in general, I think it would be much more mature to directly talk to these people instead i think if ronnie texted chris motionless he would respond and they would talk it out and figure it out i think chris motionless is a very nice immature person um i think that would just be the better way about going about it i think that is just the more mature and smart thing to do ronnie has a lot of fans a lot of young fans as well that are very um, they can be influenced very easily, and I think when Ronnie makes these little videos talking shit about people and bands, not just Motionless and White, this shit happens all the time. I think when he makes these videos about these things, people flock to these other bands and artists' pages and hate on them and just fucking flood their comment sections with bullshit. That's upsetting. It really is. I think you have the right intention. You have the right to be upset about these things. And you have the right to do whatever you want about it. But in my opinion, I would go about it in a different way. Let me know what you guys thought about this whole video in the comments down below. Please feel free to have discussions with each other with me. I will reply to all comments on this video as long as you are being fair and open-minded. I don't want any hate comments. Last time I made a video on Falling in Reverse, um, people... Like, it's my, my most disliked video, I think, just because I talked about not liking Ronnie that much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the future. Yeah, I'm sure Chris and the whole team for that video just woke up that morning and said, Hey, let's copy the video for Pop the Monster. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Because that's what he does. My only issue with this video is obviously you guys have heard my opinion so far about this whole drama. If you guys have watched all the way through this video, I'm on Motionless and White and Chris's side, but I definitely see where Ronnie is coming from. And I already said like how I feel about it all. But my problem here is now it seems like it's getting more personal and Ronnie's taking direct shots. Like he said, yeah, he is like he's talking directly at Chris instead of Motionless and White. Sounds like he has a vendetta and he's actually upset. Like obviously he was already upset, but he's very upset now because before he's talking about, hey, I don't hate these guys. I don't wake up and hate them, blah, blah, blah. And he was just kind of talking about it. But now it's become more of an issue, it seems. Um, I don't know exactly what sparked it to evolve that way because like i said he was before just upset about the whole situation and wasn't direct taking direct shots and now he's not taking direct shots at chris but he's obviously more upset towards chris than he was before i don't know what happened for that to uh, evolve to that and here is a video from a um tiktoker on the app replying to a comment i love both bands but ronnie isn't innocent the departure by falling in reverse sounds identical to panic switch by the silver sun pickups now i have not heard that falling in reverse song i don't believe and i've never heard of that song or that other band how did i not notice this <laughs> Sounds like a vibe.
So that's the other band. Yo, no, 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 no. And that's the Falling in Reverse song? Oh, sh okay. What the fuck? Yeah. Even the melody, the vocal melody is the same. Okay, that's that's odd. And obviously, like during this whole thing, Ronnie has said many times, like it's okay to take inspiration and do things, but not blatantly rip off artists and bands and stuff. I mean, obviously, there is a possibility that that part in Falling in a Versus song is just a huge coincidence, but that is quite literally exactly identical. That's crazy. Most of this white is, de is definitely better, not petty. I don't think most of this white is better than my band. Um, I think most of this white is just breaking Benjamin for trans people. See, and now we're getting to this point where insults are going to be thrown and there's going to be shit talking and it can't be handled maturely anymore because when stuff like this starts, there's no going back. There's no having a conversation about it or getting through it like fucking adults. When you start doing this is when it starts. Um, it's just petty and immature. He says, I don't think Motionless and White is better than my band, which that's a that's a whole other discussion. That has nothing to do with this. We're not even talking about the music at this point. This all has to do with cosmetics and music videos and just these people. It really has nothing to do with the music. But if we are going to have that conversation, I think Motionless and White is 100% a better band. I mean, I guess that could be a biased opinion, but I do like both bands' music. Motionless and White is one of my favorite bands, so I know it's, it's not really an easy comment to make knowing that I'm a huge fan. And yeah, now he's taking these shots. I and mean, we all know that Ronnie it does not support uh, trans people. And that is like a big drama that he has had. I believe that's why he got banned off TikTok in the first place is because he does not um, support trans. Before, there was, there was an, a way to have a conversation and settle this like adults. And now when you're saying Motionless and White is just breaking Benjamin for trans people, taking direct shots at the band... Um, that's where that, that line is drawn. You can't, you know, you can't go back from that. And I think that is very ignorant of Ronnie to say, because obviously Motionless and White has gotten very compared to Breaking Benjamin in recent years, especially on their latest album, Scoring the End of the World. People keep saying that Motionless and White has copied Breaking Benjamin. They blah, 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 blah. I think it's ignorant of Ronnie to, to join that herd and say Motionless and White is a copycat of Breaking Benjamin when in recent videos he has said it's okay and fine to take inspiration because I don't think Motionless and White is a copycat of Breaking Benjamin. They obviously are influenced by Breaking Benjamin. Even Chris has said it in interviews, said his favorite singer of all time is Ben Burnley. And I respect the shit out of Chris for doing that because I myself make music not at a high, higher scale as Chris and Ronnie, but I have wrote about five albums that I plan to release in the next like decade, over the next decade. And I take massive influence from many, many bands and artists, and I try to implement them because those are the th reasons I love music, and I want my music to be like the music I love because that's what I enjoy. So I just think it's very ignorant and immature of Ronnie to go and say things like it's okay to have inspiration and influences and stuff but then when he's finally hurt and his little his little boy middle school boy heart is hurt starts taking shots like that saying that they are just breaking Benjamin for trans people and I really don't understand that comment yes Chris and the whole band is a are huge supporters of the LGBTQ, but obviously that is not Motionless and White's whole fan base. One step closer riff and Zombified have the same riff. Not convinced, the departure, Fallen Reverse, Panic Switch. Bro, it happens. One step closer and Zombified riff are not the same. There's only so many notes you can do. I get it. Sometimes there's coincidences that happen. With Chris, it's not a coincidence. He copies everyone. You don't understand this. Let, let me give you a good example of a coincidence. Palais Royale, tonight is the night I die. Palais Royale, this is a coincidence. So Palais Royale filmed a video at a mansion in Beverly Hills about vampires. And why, And within two weeks. Uh, the, I'm not a vampire. Two weeks. I yeah. also went to that same place and filmed a video called I'm not a vampire revamped. And it was very vampire-y. And that's called a coincidence. 
because the timeline was so close to each other, which is wild if you think about it. But this house was just perfect for a vampire theme. So it just so happened that while Palais Royale was editing their video, like when they just got done, we started filming in this house unknowingly. These things happen. What I'm trying to say about Chris is he literally sees something and says, I need to do this. He has no original bone in his body, man. I'm telling you. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And you know what? I, I don't know what to tell you if you don't understand. But the bottom line is you can like Coca-Cola or you can like Shasta. Okay? There's nothing wrong with like liking Diet Shasta if you're on a budget. Okay, so first off, I see, I see the point he's making. Like the overall video is saying like in his scenario coincidences happen but as for chris he is just a blatant copycat and just rips off people but my favorite thing about this video is just co the complete like ignoring of this comment that this person made on his page talking about lincoln park's one step closer riff and the song that we just listened to briefly uh the panic switch by the silver sun pickups like blatantly just disregarded those comments i think that's because he got Caught. I think he might be a little embarrassed. If I was in his shoes and I unknowingly copied people, like I didn't know that I never even, you know, had a thought in my mind that I accidentally copied these people or something, I would make this video and like listen to those songs and be like, oh, like, oh, I, that, I can see why people think I might have ripped it off. But because he completely disregards those and just like, oh no, it's just a coincidence. Coincidences happen all the time. Just because he does that makes me think he may have copied these other things. Even my best friend, uh, Ryan, when Zombified first came out, he was not a huge Falling in Reverse fan. And I did a reaction to Zombified when it came out. And I was listening to Zombified after it came out. And me and him were talking. And I was like, yo, listen to this new Falling in Reverse song. It's, it's pretty sick. And he listened to it. And he's like, bro. This sounds just like One Step Closer by Linkin Park. And I'm like, does it? And we literally like did a whole Discord stream and I compared the two songs. We're like, holy shit, that riff is just literally One Step Closer. Yeah, a couple notes are off, but it's the same riff. And then there's this other song, Panic Switch by the Silver Sun Pickups. That was a blatant ripoff. I think that was too similar to be a coincidence. Also, like I said... He's just completely disregarding that, and I think that just proves that he did, at least for that song. Maybe the One Step Closer thing was just, was a coincidence, maybe. Even though One Step Closer is a huge song, and Ronnie has obviously heard that song before. Um, I think Ronnie is embarrassed or something in this video, because he, like I said, I know I keep saying the same thing, but he's just completely ignoring the comment that this viewer on TikTok made. Like I said, I do get his point saying that coincidences happen in his world but as for chris motionless that doesn't happen he's just a copycat i get what he's trying to say but i feel like just him ignoring the comment he's replying to immediately like that doesn't matter anymore because he's just ignoring what was said i genuinely believe ronnie radke just loves drama he just loves it i am not one of those people i try to stay out of it i genuinely just dislike it it makes me feel like shit inside even when i'm on the right side of things like when people are just being blatant assholes and i know i'm in the right and have done nothing wrong i just hate the way it fucking feels who wants to sit here and have petty arguments all the fucking time all day and night and it literally just live in your head rent free at all time i can't live like that i hate that shit that's why i don't even talk to most of my family i don't know why i'm getting personal this is not about me <laughs> i don't know if i have in this video but i do want to say i have not i do not want to say that chris is not copying ronnie like i think it is pretty clear that he has been influenced or the band has been influenced or their record label or their marketing team who knows i don't know all the aspects to this drama i'm more just trying to un like just kind of dissect where ronnie's coming from in just all these videos i can't find it now but i also saw a a, a thread a comment thread on one of these tiktok videos of um ronnie and his girlfriend i don't know if like they're engaged or fiance girlfriend uh, i forget her name i know she was like a wwe star or something like that um i'm not really into wwe so i don't really know much about that but i did see some like comment thread on one of these tiktok videos of ronnie and his girlfriend or whatever like bickering with other tiktok viewers and stuff in the comments um i don't know just like seeing these 
celebrities like these are high statured people in just entertainment like literally arguing like middle schoolers with a bunch of probably middle schoolers on tiktok is honestly pathetic to me like i was saying these people are big influences to people in entertainment like i don't know what in the universe like clicked and clacked that thought Oh, these people need to have platforms and have influence on people. And when they speak, hundreds of thousands of people should hear it. It's just, it's ridiculous to me. What really sucks is yesterday when I recorded this video and I felt like I had such a biased point, like an unbiased point of view. I felt like I was completely open. I had a completely open mind and I genuinely tried to understand where Ronnie was coming from. And I tried to give my opinion from both sides. But after seeing these things, like I said, when it gets to this petty, immature side of drama, it's just, it's just annoying. Like, I cannot back up Ronnie. I cannot see where he's coming from and be like, oh, that's a fair point. I get where he's coming from. I can't do that when it becomes this. It's just middle school. TikTok is just middle school. For a long time, I just thought Ronnie was a complete douchebag because I didn't know much about him. And over the years, I learned more. Stell didn't really like him, but realized he's just a person who's not afraid to say what he says. And I do, or he's not afraid to say what he thinks. And I do respect that. But at the end of the day, I think he's just an unlikable person. I know this video is going to get many, many dislikes from you, Ronnie fans. And I get it. You guys want to defend someone you guys really care about, someone who makes music that you guys love. I really do understand. I don't know. I just, I think this whole thing is stupid. Let me know what you guys think about this. I hope I don't have to update this video again, but maybe you guys will see me add some more to this video tomorrow. See you all in the future. Still with up away.